Hello there. I'm Barry of BarryHighFromWells.com and this is part three of how to create a PowerPoint presentation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to record it without having to buy any specialist software. Before we get to that point, we need to just check our PowerPoint presentation, make sure it's all as we want it, make sure you've got your animations in and your transitions as I showed you last week. If you're recording a vast amount of slides, like I have a class 7, there's quite a lot because you've got a lot of detail to talk about. You don't want to get to the last one, make a mistake and have to repeat them all. So record them individually if need be. Now, when it comes to creating videos, there's two hurdles people need to get over, I think. Confidence and cost. Now, I'm trying to encourage everyone to create videos because they are so easy to do. That's the purpose of the challenge, is to show you what can be done with videos and encourage people that haven't created video to start doing so. Now, when it comes to cost, a lot of people think that to produce quality looking videos, you have to have Camtasia. You don't. There's free software available. You've got Cam Studio. Right? Just because it's free doesn't mean it isn't any good. I think this is excellent. Now, all you do is come to the home page, scroll down, and you'll see there. Okay, so download that. On the older machines, you may need the Lost Leg Video Codec. Okay, so just download that as well. If you do get stuck, there's a forum there or get in touch with me and I can help you out. So let's minimize these and I'll show you what you get. This is the Cam Studio XE. So you would double click that and then I think it's run and run again on the options. Okay, one of them might be saved and the following run. So once you get that, you'll get this little icon. You double click that to start it. Uh, oh, I've already got it open. Okay. <laughs> right, let's do it there. Right. Now, I can't show you how to record with this because I'm already recording with Camtasia. But basically, you've got your file, record, pause, stop, exit, region. Region is where you draw. Fixed region is where you set it to a specific region and work your window around it. For PowerPoint, you want full screen. Okay, I'll show you why in a moment. Options. It may come with do not record audio checked. Just check on this one. Just click it and that will be selected. Program options, save settings on exit, and where is it? Directory. User specified. That's so that it asks you where you want to save it so that you know where you've saved it. Okay? Because if you use these other ones, chances are you're not going to find it again. So just use that. Alright, just follow the route that I've taken. That one there. That one there. That one there. Right, now what you do is minimize that so it's off your screen. Then to get to it, just come down there, right click, and there's your options. Record, stop, pause, and exit. Right, once you've got your recording software, you can then get Windows Live Movie Maker. It's a free download. You may need to create an account, so just click there, fill in your details, create your account. And then download and install Windows Live Movie Maker. Once you've done that, open up your PowerPoint, check everything. Now the quickest way to check this is come to Slideshow and click From Beginning. Then with your right arrow key, you, you're not recording here, all you're doing is testing everything is working, okay? So press your right arrow key to bring in the new animation and transitions. I'll speed it up a bit because you don't really want to watch all of this. Okay, and that's all you do. All I'm doing is pressing the right arrow key to bring in these animations and slide the from one transition to the next. When you get to the end, I'm, I'm doing this on purpose because you'll see this. And obviously you don't want your viewers to see that. Now, once you've done that, if there are any mistakes, correct them. Then go File, come down to Print, you'll be on the set page, just come to the Notes and print them off so that you've got them beside you and you can read through them as you're recording your presentation. So once you're all ready to start recording, it's time to come down, right click on Cam, uh, Cam Studio 
and click record okay I can't do that because I'm already recording but this is what you would do start recording once you've got that then come to this button here slideshow there and you are now recording so you would introduce the slide module 1 blogging superstar talk about title 1 hitting the right arrow key on your keyboard will bring in the next animation title 2 talk about title 2 hit the right arrow key to bring in the next animation talk about title 3 right arrow key title 4 right arrow key moves to the next slide the next animation and so on and so on all the way through your slideshow when you come to the end I'll quickly go to the end okay this is all recording now or it would be if you'd use the um, cam studio button and again you get this so again you click the right arrow key to stop come down here right click oh no not on that click there right click on that one stop that then stops you recording you'll then be asked to give it a file name and where you want to save it once you have done that minimize that open up your movie maker click here to add videos there's one I've done earlier just in blue Peter fashion now this is the part I was talking about you don't want your viewers to view this because it looks quite poor doesn't it so come along to the first slide as soon as you get the first slide on and come to edit set start point the video now starts at the first slide come to the last slide press play queue it up there and then set end point so you've, your start point is now on the first slide and your end point is now on is now on the end point. I, sorry I paused there, I was um, listening to the jargon coming out my gob. Come to the home, set a title, set a background colour. Choose a colour that goes with your blog, with your theme on your YouTube channel. Choose a colour relevant, okay? You've got more colours there, so you can select, you can define colours, okay? You can add custom colours, so I'm just going to go with navy for now right you want to add some text give your movie a title so for example powerpoint presentations obviously take a bit of time over it get it looking pretty you can change your font look highlight this you can change your font you can change the size you can change the color it's just like working on a word document okay you can change all of that let's say that's fine okay you play about it a bit more obviously and now you want to home credits add a credit okay now say for example you've had music playing in the background you might want to put music by you two video slides by myself Now again, you can highlight the text, change the font, change the size, change the colour, make it bold italic, make it larger by there or by default there, make it smaller there. Let's do it at that, okay? We change the background colour, 
go the same ones so we've got the same ones there and now we can go back to the start have a play you've got your PowerPoint presentation by Barry Wells and then it goes on to the slides come down and we go there and we play there and there come your credits now that's very professional for free software isn't it Okay, obviously you could roll your credits on more if you want to trim part of it say you made a mistake up here you want to trim it you've got your trim tool there I haven't used this for anything other than I've just shown you really I haven't experimented with the trim or the split animations these could be transitions between slides as I was saying if you record each slide individually you've got your animations and you can zoom and pan to certain areas of the screen okay look. You see so we can zoom to different areas of the screen have a play about of it don't produce it until you're absolutely happy and then you can save it but when you've saved it let me quickly show you this one here this was one I produced yesterday and this is with the um, start and the exit or the credits and this was of this one so had I've made a mistake there's nothing to stop me deleting this and starting over again okay so just play about in here get it exactly how you want it now one thing you do not want is darting from one area of the screen to the next to the next to the next and they think what am I looking at here why is he dancing everywhere try and keep it a whole screen until you're pinpoint in a certain area and then draw the um, viewers attention to it right I think that's about it next week I'm going to cover how to do it in Camtasia I thought I'd cover the free product or the free software first because more people will be using free software than they will with Camtasia because I'm trying to encourage people to start making videos and they're not going to go and lay out $300 before they've started making videos. Thanks very much for watching. Please take a little bit of time and visit the video blog challenge page on my blog. There are lots and lots of videos there. I'm adding to it on a daily basis. As you can see, people are now submitting their second and people are now working on their thirds. Okay, Some are still to submit their second, but there's plenty there. So, if you want to keep up with events on my blog, you've got the RSS feed there, you've got the opt-in there and there, and you get some brandable ebooks, or on the Facebook with the video blog challenge page. Thanks very much for watching. Take good care. Bye now.